Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. This time I would like to show the three and half grinding method, which can be used for various form tools. To be able to do this, I have created a cylindrical end mill with four floats with the tool wizard and added profile elements and associated operations. I removed standard operations that were not needed. In this sequence I have compared the three grinding methods for profiles. On the left you can see the method from top, in the middle the method from the side and on the right the method three and a half. The tool I created can be ground with all three methods using situable grinding wheels. Each method has its specific advantages and disadvantages. Grinding from top, for example, is easy to define, but strongly dependent on the radius accuracy of the wheel and can only be used to a limited extent with vertical contour elements. With grinding from side, more complex contours can be ground with a defined axial and radial clearance angle. However, this sometimes requires large axis movements, especially of the y-axis. This also leads to a longer machining time. More information on the three and half method follows now. Here you can see the grinding process again. As you can see in the position display, the y-axis does not move or moves slightly. The clearance angle is created by moving the grinding wheel out of center. Height offset. To illustrate this, I have defined a single horizontal line on the tool. Since the geometry is created with the diameter of the grinding wheel, a slightly hollow grinding is produced. This is smaller the larger the diameter of the grinding wheel. The generated clearance angle corresponds to the angle entered when the grinding wheel is positioned 90 degrees to the profile element. In any other position the angle is smaller. Now I will show how I created the operation and made the settings. First I created the desired contour in the profile editor and then I inserted the operation probing profile with the operation wizard. In the next step I select the operation clearance profile and share it with the operation probing profile. Finally I select the situable grinding wheel. The preset values are unsituable for this contour shape and the tool looks accordingly. Now I select the grinding method three and a half. The workpiece would not be producible with this wheel offset angle. With 90 degree it would work. Now I change the wheel offset angle to tabulated. Then I get a table in which six symmetrical arranged definition points are created. To get definition points at the respective start and end positions of the individual elements, I change back to common and press the button at wheel offset snap to end point. Now I get 12 points. I can now enter the wheel offset angle individually for each point or use the slider to bring it to the position that seems the best for this contour. Now I add a second clearance angle by copying reconfiguring and adjusting the operation such as clearance angle and grinding length extension front. With the parameter A axis, the grinding position is rotated around the center of the axis of the workpiece. This changes the position of the grinding wheel to the cutting edge and the traverse movements of the individual axis. This offers an additional possibility to influence the course of the clearance angle. Thank you for your attention and I hope the description was informative for you. You can find more information about our machines, software, training and customer care on our homepage. Visit us again soon.